there are all these iconic songs that you've done, okay, in so many of your films. Uh, the styling in many of those songs has been similar. You know, we, we've always got the, the short cholis and, and the, the, the flowing hair and the glistening skin. Uh, do you have a say in that or is that just what people have decided your ideal in because we can also see the flat abs? Mm. <laughs> no, 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 no. That definitely is is. Uh, there's definitely a lot of um, a lot of contribution. There's always a discussion. It's never a dictatorship when it comes to to clothes and films. But when it comes to costuming songs, what people I think um, there's two main things that you have to factor in. One is of course what the song requires. What's the situation? In most of our songs tend to be in the silhouette of a ghagra choli if, yeah. if they're that type of an Indian song. So that's the silhouette. Now what the design depends on whatever the designer comes up with. But also a lot of it is what works for dance. There's there's a certain What you kind can do of, the steps in. You can do the steps in anything, but what suits well. Like there's a there's a from from for me there's there's a I can't I don't like um I don't like things constricting hmm. you know your your waist because a lot of the movement comes from that. So that's sure. that becomes a functional a functional right. thing, but for style, I think the people who I always work with in my films, they're people who I always make sure have a good knowledge of, of what's happening. That, that There's a difference between just a stylist and a film stylist. Right. There's what is the difference? Well, a film stylist knows the time, and they know the era, they know mm. the texture. They also know that what looks like something to the eye doesn't translate on screen. Right. And that's the one area where I have no sense that. I just go by what I physically feel and see and touch. Mm. Um, a good stylist, costume stylist for films need to understand that trans tr translation. Yeah. Sometimes something looks maybe even tacky to you in, in life, but it just... Dazzling on screen. Dazzling on screen. Yeah. Um, Someone who also understands characters and script for sure, because otherwise, uh, some things sometimes over costuming can work against you. Mm. It can actually bring something down. It can take something away. It can add a lot. It can add and take away a lot. And how much do you depend on stylists, or is it your own personal voice in films? No, otherwise in life. So I think this whole trend of stylists has now become something which is really popular. It's something which never was there before. Like right. I was talking about this with my friend the other day. Um, we never used to have stylists going to film premieres and jab tak there was no such thing. Even till then? No, not at all. Not at all. But I Just remember you looking something. amazing. You were in some gown, right? Yeah. I remember. Yeah, it was Tarun Tahiliani. It was a huh. gold sari and. Um, I don't know how it got to me. Got to me. It found its way to me. So um, I think it's beautiful to see now, and of course, there's many plus points to it. But I also think that not every we don't all need to feel that we all need to be in, in the exact same format. Like I think right. it's important we should all still maintain our individuality. Yeah. Because what's happening, I feel, is everyone is dressing up a little similar as per the event. So if it's a film function, everyone will, will, will wear a certain thing. Mm. Obviously, that is the way it is. Yeah. You will probably wear gowns or wear a sari, but I think it's important for us to try and retain our own individuality as well.